Welcome to 3D Printing Industry News, brought to you by 3D Systems. We're at Inside 3D Printing Santa Clara, and I'm here with uh, Daniel Faber, the CEO of Deep, Deep Space Industries. So Daniel, space, to quote Star Trek, is the final frontier and one of the most exciting areas for 3D printing. Um, can you tell us about your work uh, at Deep Space Industries? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Deep Space Industries is focused on using the natural resources in space to change the economics of doing business in space. So uh, we, we're looking at harvesting, extracting, um, processing and, and manufacturing with the, the materials, um, focusing initially on asteroids. Um, we see those as the most prospective. Um, there are a lot of interesting materials in asteroids that, uh, that we can make useful in space. Uh, and at the moment, really, uh, economic activity in space is constrained by the rockets, by how much mass you can put on the rockets and how big the things are that you can fit into the rockets. By having a lot of atoms available on orbit, we're going to be able to really just change that paradigm and open up all of the, uh, the economics and, and the business models and, and really create a business ecosystem there. And a lot of exciting things will happen. That's very interesting. So how realistic is it that we will see humans mining in space for new resources and uh, how does 3D printing really fit into that? Uh, I think it's, it's going to happen. It's inevitable that it will happen. It's a question of timing um, and Deep Space Industries is here to make it happen sooner. Um, so when it happens, the, uh, the 3D printing revolution that's currently underway is really key to this because then we'll be able to produce more complex parts, um, more uh, you know, more businesses will be enabled by by those things. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of plastics we can make from the materials in space. Uh, a lot of metals for, for metal printing. And then as the 3D printing industry evolves to give us complex multi-material parts, uh, to give us actuators and sensors and those kind of things that are produced by 3D printing. That again will just explode the number of applications. Uh, and that's really key to what we're doing long term. Sure. So I know, I know you're obviously limited to um, the developments within the industry, but um, from your point of view, could you give us some kind of vision? When is it going to happen? When are we going to be mining in space? Um, I can give you uh, a bit of a timeline from Deep Space Industries, which of course is subject to many, many things. Sure. Um, but we have three launches next year lined up, uh, technology demonstrations that are really focused on our surveying missions. We have to understand the mineralogy, the composition, uh, the rock mechanics, the things that a geologist needs to know before we can do a mine plan. So we continue from there through, through further uh, technology missions, missions to the asteroids that answer those questions, uh, building up our, our processing and manufacturing technologies uh, until the point where we put together the extraction, uh, the processing, the, the manufacturing as, um, you know, as, a, um, as a, a business that, that is then able to deliver and make available uh, products for, for other people and other businesses. So our time frame for that um, is, is a gradual stepping, stepping stones going out over several years. Uh, we expect that the, um, the mine plan and the, the commencing production uh, of the, uh, the harvesters and, and processors, that that will take uh, somewhere in the five to ten year time frame. Wow, that's uh, very interesting. Thank you very much for the interview. You're and, welcome. Uh, have a good show ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching 3D Printing Industry News TV, brought to you by 3D Systems.